Hey guys, if you don't know, this is a re-upload of a video that I'm doing because I've uploaded a video a day ago about, um, a thing. Excuse me. That was beat. That was... Uh, <laughs> there you go. And it's a upload about a video, I mean a thing, that I'm about to show you. And, um, I feel like it was basically when I filmed it, it was like one... 39 in the morning so I and I wasn't really that energetic you know I was basically like laying down on my bed which I'm on my bed right now but I'm not laying down like with my shirt like down here oh my god you <laughs> you guys shouldn't I don't want you guys to see how fat I am look there here stupid anyways this is what I was gonna show you I recently got this in the mail it's my Buddha cassette my um, mom drove to the mailbox and got this thing because um, I was expecting it on May 29th, but instead I got it on May 26th, which is May 27th right now. Yep, that's the cover and it's the back. What's on a white cassette? Um, I I'm also wondering if this came in any other colors because I've only seen this thing on white. Eh, you don't really need to read the tracks, but. Gonna open this. That's what the set looks like. Look at that. And it has a blue underside. Yeah. And the insert. And the guys, look at this. Look at that. That is awesome. I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you that again. Look at this. Wow, that is amazing. I mostly like these cassettes because of the insert. Sorry, my shirt's really big. But, yep. Um, this is just a little short video of my cassette that I got. And it looks awesome, to be honest. And if you don't know, this picture is from the early version of the cassette right there. And I'm actually going to read this thing to you guys, this paragraph right there. Um, so basically it re it says, what was, <coughs> what was come to be known as the Buddha record was actually a limited cassette on only release of our earliest studio recordings. With no title, just a picture of Buddha on it. After a long rest of the shelf at Tom's house, the good people of Kung Fu have agreed to unleash the, the, these these 24 tracks cries for help um, from the vault they've digitally remixed and remastered to create a sound that is better than the way they used to sound please enjoy the whims this whimsical journey back to our humble beginnings recorded at double time double time studios in San Diego California I live in San Diego California in 1995, oh no, with a, with a very sick mark in 1995, just six months after the band formed. All songs went by Blink-182, Art Their Direction by Grace Walker, Kung Fu Records, P.O. Box, 3061 Seal Beach, California, 91740, except the girl next door. By Ben Weasel. S -s Weasel, whatever. And that's all. So, yep, that's all I had to show you for this thing. Hope you guys enjoyed this um, little showcase that I did. And yeah. And it took me about 21 days. Get it? Get it? Twenty-one days. Oh!